The crypto market has been booming and investors have been doing very well over the last few months. And even more than that, crypto projects themselves have been doing well. Many of them are doing a lot more trade and landing more partners and generating more genuine use, which is what as an investor and a crypto fan I like to see. But unfortunately, wherever there is big money to be made, you tend to attract a small number of people who are unscrupulous, and people who are out there to make money not by picking investments which rise in value over time, but by luring others into scams which they can profit from. And there are a number of scams being operated in the crypto space right now, but by far one of the biggest is the age-old pump and dump scam. For those who don't know what a pump and dump is, it's simply a maneuver where a number of people get together to form a coalition or a group, which operates almost like a cartel would, and that they control a significant amount of the circulating supply of any crypto, and therefore the members of that group can work together to raise and drop the prices of the crypto as they want, effectively making their money off of the backs of those who are being lured into often without knowing anything about it. And the thing is, there are many ways of doing a pump and dump which go beyond just controlling a significant percentage of the circulating supply. You can also operate a pump and dump by having a significant controlling influence on the consensus opinion. For example, if a group of YouTubers and TikTok traders and so on got together, they could probably tell their fans to buy some small cryptocurrency that nobody has ever heard of by hyping the coin and then selling the dream, and it's likely that they could create demand for that crypto and therefore have a strong influencing opinion in what the consensus in that particular crypto are doing. For example, they may all get together and decide to buy up some very small coin which nobody's ever heard of, and then all of a sudden they may build up a hype in that crypto and cause the price to jump. And once they have done that, they'll all unload with a large profit and then they'll begin to change their tone and say that the conditions have changed and promote the price to fall, at which point they'd buy back in and repeat over and over again. And it is sad because these types of scams don't tend to draw in experienced investors or people who know what they're doing. They prey upon new investors and people who are inexperienced. But having said that, there are a few things which you can look out for which help to identify whether a crypto is in fact being involved in a pump and dump scam. And hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, other than me interrupting of course, and you'd like to see more content like this, then do me a favour and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, the first thing to consider is that it's much harder to operate a pump and dump in larger market cap cryptos than smaller market cap ones. For example, it would be practically impossible to operate a pump and dump in Bitcoin, because you'd need hundreds of billions of dollars to accumulate a stake large enough to have a significant impact on price. And even then, there are tens of millions of people around the world who own Bitcoin. And so to form a coalition who together control enough of the supply to operate this type of scam would require the participation of hundreds or even thousands of people which would be too hard to keep a secret considering pump and dumps are illegal. And not only that, but in the smaller cryptos they tend to be very thinly traded, meaning that there isn't much transaction volume at all. Some of the smaller cryptos have just tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands worth of daily trading volume. And that may sound like a lot, but most of the coins or tokens are usually owned by a small group of insiders who dominate the supply. Meaning that in many cases, it would take the cooperation of just two or three corrupt players to operate a scam like this. And there's also a much smaller chance that the perpetrators are going to be caught in a smaller crypto, because there is much less attention being paid and many of the smaller crypto projects aren't really on many people's radars, which is a good thing from a criminal point of view, which suggests that most pump and dumps are going to be operated in smaller cryptos. And so it's important to look at the ownership concentration when investing into any crypto, especially when that crypto is a small one. And it's also important to ask questions like who owns a crypto and do they have any history of being involved in this type of scam or any questionable behaviour? And also, if they wanted to, how easily could they do a pump and dump? Also, another thing to be wary of is when a number of social media influencers all start to talk about some crypto that nobody's ever heard of before all at once. And this does need to be taken with a pinch of salt because a lot of the time they're just covering the same news around big events, which may give the appearance of a collusion. But if there is a strong correlation of them all doing this on a number of occasions, then you may want to do some investigation and look into whether any of these people have again been involved in any sort of scams or questionable behaviour in the past. And if the investor does these things, it's very likely to reduce the chances of them being caught up in any type of scam like this. And if this video is able to save just one person from being lured into a pump and dump scam, I'll consider it to be a huge success. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Thanks for watching.